It was the Dark Ages when the Black King and his robots ruled the Earth. Some found the courage to resist this tyrant. Among these freedom fighters, one stood out above the rest. He was the last best hope of humankind, and they called him Kashan. Trim to 20 and a head two thirds. Trimming to 20, a head two thirds. Enough waiting. Surface. Leveling the periscope depth. Raising periscope. Perfect. Robot transport with no fighter escort cruising smoothly bearing west-northwest at 2100 meters. We can't give them the chance to put up their defense field. We get one shot, gentlemen. Aye, aye, sir. Missile engaged and targeted. Target coming into range. Distance 6,000. Five. Four. She's in range, sir. Fire away. Firing. How many is that? How many? Sir, including this latest, and if there haven't been any others since... That would bring the total to thirteen! Thirteen transport ships? And how many robots were on board each of those vessels? Roughly one hundred and fifty to two hundred, based on my initial calculations. <sighs> These humans are able to strike with impunity! How is that possible? How? The village you've targeted is almost inaccessible. It is on an island surrounded by 30,000 miles of ocean. 
To make matters worse, the mountains surrounding the village are so high that our fighter escorts cannot carry enough fuel to reach the island and sustain a high-altitude mission. Therefore, the transports are forced to go in without protection. <clears throat> if an approach by air won't work, we shall establish a base elsewhere on the island and go by land. Look there, what is that? It appears to be a railway, sir. Then that is what we shall use. Prepare an armored train. I want troops dispatched to that village as soon as possible. Sir, so much energy directed at so insignificant a target. You dare question my orders? No, sir, of course not. But it will be difficult. The only railway bridge leading to that village was blown up by resistance fighters two years ago. What of it? If humans destroyed the bridge, then humans will be responsible for its repair. They will be rounded up and forced to make that bridge fully operational within the month. No, two weeks. Is that understood, Balashin? Sir? I'm putting you in command of the operation. The bridge will be repaired and that village secured. If they are not, I will know where to place the blame. It shall be done. Hail, Black King! <laughs> two dozen more that just arrived. And more are coming every hour. People are being rounded up from every settlement within a hundred miles. What could they be up to? That old bridge doesn't lead any place worth a damn. Captain? Well, we've received word. Get this. Once the bridge is back up again, an armored troop train packed to the gills with robots is gonna come steaming our way. But why? There's nothing down those tracks but a small village by a lake. What could they possibly want with that? You got me. Whatever it is, they're not gonna get it. That's our job, boys. The moment the train hits that bridge, we blow the whole thing sky high again. Whatever it takes, that train does not get through. I am Balashin, the new boss of this work detail. Now listen carefully, you flesh and bone scum. I have come to deliver a message from the Black King himself. Two weeks to repair the damage done to this bridge by your comrades. Two weeks for every day that you exceed that time limit. Ten more of you swine will have your miserable lives terminated. Do I make myself clear? It's up to you now. Hail Black King! Hail Black King! All right, get moving! Work, damn you! Work, work, like the spineless drones you are. It's not your place to wonder why. The Black King demands it. That is all you need to know. There will be no rest until it's done. And it will be done on time, or you will all pay! Bridge 17 should be just up ahead. Yes. The resistance fighters knocked it out over two years ago. This rail line has been out of commission since then. The attack did nothing more than isolate a small village. Our friend, the Black King, is certainly going to a lot of trouble to get there. There's got to be a reason. He suspended a major offensive against our forces in Australia, pulled all of his troops out and deployed them there just to take this tiny village. What is it, Frenda? There's nobody there, Frenda. It's all right.
Mate, leave it to Frenda. Attack, boy! <laughs> Good. The transmitter's completely blown. That means it can't report back that it spotted us. What are you doing? If I can download its memory, we might find what they're after. He's planning to carry out his primary programming by initiating the ultimate solution. The Sigma Project. What's the Sigma Project? Permission to rest. Thank you, pig. Are you all right? I'll carry it. <clears throat> what pathetic creatures these humans are! <clears throat> Robot, he's gonna pay. I swear it. Why are we waiting for him? Let me bash him over the head right now. Don't get impatient. No matter what, we can't jump the gun. We blow the bridge once the train is on it. Not a second before. Whatever the case, they're certainly in a hurry. They're working those poor men day and night without any rest. <laughs> Let's start with your name and what you're doing here. Our captain's already in place, posing as one of the laborers. He's ready to blow the puppy sky high. The minute the repairs are finished and that armored transport train starts across it, he hits the button. And that'll be our cue to move in. If we're fast enough and lucky enough, we should be able to get most of the prisoners away before the robots can react. Say the word. Whatever we can do to help, we're with you. Mother? Kashan, I've been waiting for you. You must stop him. Stop him, Kashan. Do you know what he's planning to do? I'm afraid I do, Mother. Project Sigma. Father's greatest experiment and his most cherished dream. For years, I helped him try to realize that dream. The creation of a new breed of neuroids that would be totally benign in their relationship to the Earth's environment. Organic, non-polluting, solar energized, the perfect paradigm of machine and nature coexisting in symbiosis. We'd already chosen the site at which to introduce them to the world. A small village. We were awaiting final approval from the United Nations when the war came. 
The android BK-1 has usurped Father's dream. But why? Why Project Sigma? Maybe that's what Father wanted. This may have been the only way he saw to finally fulfill his dream. Could it be that more than just Father's programming lives inside Android BK-1? Could it be Father himself? You're wrong, Kashan. Your father gave his life fighting the Black King. You are his creation. Someone's coming. Listen to me. Never forget why you sacrificed your human form in order to become what you are now. Be strong. Save this world and all its life forms from their poisonous touch. Machines will succeed where humanity failed. It is the dawn of a new age. Faster, you morons! Faster! The train is coming! If it is not finished in time, heads will roll! All right. Which one is it? That support beam they're taking up on the winch right now? X marks the spot as the saying goes. This bomb on that beam will bring the whole thing crashing down. Here's the detonator. Okay, you know what you've got to do. Don't jump the gun. If the train isn't destroyed, they'll just try it again. We've got to finish it. Don't forget, a lot of innocent people are depending on us. It's finished. Stand by, men. It won't be long now. Rush the bridge as soon as the bomb blows. Kishan, where have you gone? All right, clear the bridge! Clear the bridge! Attention workers! The train will be here any minute. To prevent any further attempts at sabotage, none of you will be released until it is safely across the bridge. That's what you think. Here it comes. Get ready. First company, you'll storm the main gate. Second company, cover them and move in behind. It's almost time. <laughs> that project was Father's most cherished dream. Now it's finally so close to fulfillment. Father, what do I do? Just keep on coming. A little closer. That's perfect. What are you that doing? The train must get across. Stay out of this. A trigger. 
Something's gone wrong. That's it. Let's go. Where's the captain going? Come on. Sean, I don't understand. What happened? Why did you interfere? How could you be so reckless? I don't know. Luna, watch out! He's going to try to trigger the bomb manually. Lay down some cover fire. Look at him go! He's almost there! stop that train before they were able to reach the village. I was born in that village. Please, we'll slaughter them all. Come on then. Let's stop that train. You must stop him. Stop him, Kashan. Could it be that more than just Father's programming lives inside Android BK-1? Could it be Father himself? You are his creation. You must stop him. I was created to serve humanity, not my father's dream. For one moment I lost my way. Never again. My sole purpose is to defeat the Black King, and I will. <laughs> These humans are a pathetic lot! <laughs> Must be suicidal! Train. 
But how did it happen? The village is safe. That's what matters. It must have been Kashan. Black King. He misunderstood the meaning of the Sigma Project. He wanted to replace humans with androids. But why? To save the Earth. But that is something humanity must learn for themselves. This planet is meant to be what they make of it, for good or ill. Whether or not they prove wise enough to change their ways, their future must be their own to determine, not the Black King's. キャシャーンとブライキングボスの対決の時が迫る自らの復活をかけてキャシャーンが行く次回キャシャーン第4話復活のキャシャーンキャシャーンがやらねば誰がやる